four games to play, but despite that defeat last week, still plenty to play for from your perspective. There is, yeah. It's uh, we're still in with a shout of. Well, we could. I suppose we could qualify for any of the European competitions yet, but uh, more realistic, we'll still get a get a chance of making the Europa League, and we'll we'll do our best to make that happen. Do you see this as a must win then, if you are to stay in the European hunt? You or any other press man have asked me that every week for the last ten weeks, the same as this must win, and and near enough we've had to say yes to it. So every game's must win. Uh, We've done our best to try and win them. We've had a pretty good record. wasn't We didn't do well enough last week to win, but uh, players have done well. So, yeah, must win, of course, it is this time of the season. And on home soil as well. I mean, your form's been fantastic. I've just one defeat last 21 home league games. So, uh, I've said it before, there's an expectancy, isn't there, at Goodison Park, but it's still it's still there for you to deliver, which is, is never easy, is it, in any kind of Well, you have, to, you have to earn the right to win all the games. And... Uh, Film, will, 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 I'm sure, will make it tough for us. They've, they've had some good results away from home, so we know that will be a hard game. Uh, we're pitch at, at Goodison's very poor as well, which doesn't help. So uh, we're going to have to try and make sure we can overcome that. Maybe that's why we're getting the good results because because <laughs> we're pitch is poor. But uh, you know, we'll hopefully uh, try and keep the run going. What have you made of, of Fulham this season, the Martin? Well, I think they've they've uh, I think they started well. I think when we played them early in the season, they were in pretty good form. I think they did a little bit of a dip, but I think recently their form's been good. And you know they've had some. You know, they did a great win at Tottenham uh, a few weeks ago, and I think they're a bit unfortunate at Newcastle. And the last two games they've had hard games, uh, Arsenal and Chelsea. So I think they've been. I think they've done done maybe what most people would expect. I think they've got themselves safe, got themselves mid table, and uh, I think if you'd ask most people where they thought Fulham would finish this season, that's what. But most people would say. Is that, is that a, a worry for you in, in terms of where they are mid table with maybe, you know, the fans may arrive at good and thinking Fulham haven't got anything to play for? Well, I can't, I can't say what Fulham are going to do, and I can't tell the supporters except to come and support Everton, you know, and the players have done well, you know, and we'll, we'll do everything we can to try and win. There's no guarantees in this, this sport we're in that you win. That's, that just doesn't happen. But is it mentally where you've got to be switched on tomorrow more than? Well, I think Everton have been switched on mentally all season. I think there's been very few occasions where we've not been. You lost a, a, a few players last week with, with injury. How's Phil Jagielka progressing? He's coming on. Uh, you know, he opened up his wound in the last couple of minutes of the Arsenal game. So he's progressing. Uh, Darren Gibson's progressing. So we're getting, we're getting close to full strength. Uh, hopefully we'll not be too far away from that. Victor have a hamstring problem? Yeah, he's had a, ham a bit of a hamstring problem at the end of the game. He felt it tightening up. Not as bad as we, we thought, but uh, we couldn't take any chances. Uh, any signs of Tony Hibbert being anywhere near the first-team squad? Yeah, Tony Hibbert's played a few reserve games now. He was out for three months. Uh, he, had a, he had quite a severe calf operation. But uh, Tony's not too far away from it. And, uh, you know, when the, the opportunity arises, I'll try and reintroduce him. You still have great memories of, of Fulham being the first ever game without him. Yeah, I do. I get asked that question a lot when we play Fulham, and I do. It was a, it was a, it was a great day for me personally, you know, to become manager of Everton. But it was an even better day when the when the team went on to get me a victory and uh, the great reception I had. So I always have fond memories of playing Fulham at Goodison.